Well, hi everybody. I'd like to introduce you to the 2022 Newberry Challenge. As you can see, I've got a big reading list for the summer. And actually, on my reading list, I have all kids' books right now. That's not to say I won't read some other books, but I am making it a goal to read as many Newberry Medal and Newberry Honor books as I can. The Newberry Medal was uh, an award that was started 100 years ago this year, so they're having their 100th anniversary. And it's a way to recognize great writing in young people's literature, um, and not just to encourage great writing in adults' literature. So if you ask any adult, what's your favorite book? What book changed your life? Chances are it's a Newberry Honor book or a Newberry Medal winner. So I want to go through a couple of these, and I want to invite you at the end of the summer to my Newberry um, ice cream party. If you read eight Newberry titles and fill out your form like this, I'm going to email that around. Um, you write the title, you give it a rating, and you tell me your favorite or least favorite part. You do that, eight of those, and that's your ticket to my ice cream party. And the person who reads the most is going to possibly have the chance to win the coveted golden ice cream scoop. So if you are ready to read this summer, let me give you a couple of titles to think about. And you can search on the internet or at your library for Newberry Medal and Newberry Honor books, which are like the runner up for the award. I've got The Wheel on the School. This is a good one. Mrs. Real actually reads this in her class. This is a newer one, The War That Saved My Life a story um, about a young woman who has to use some courage in the face of German spies and things like that. This is an older one, The Moved Outers by Florence Prannell Means. This takes place around the bombing of Pearl Harbor. I'm gonna talk about this one in my next video, The Bears on Hemlock Mountain, about a young boy who wonders, are there bears on Hemlock Mountain? We've got The Year Down Yonder. This is sort of city mouse and country mouse, but kids. Old Yeller, a classic if you like to cry. Uh, this is a dog movie, or a <laughs> dog book, and it has been made into a movie, but the book's better. Strawberry Girl, this is another older Newberry. Gone Away Lake, this is another summer book. A lot of these Newberry books, are they take place in the summer. Many of them have a picture like this, um, either with people on it or an open book, depending on if it's an honor book or a medal winner. But some of them will just say a Newberry medal winner across the top. So this one is a wrinkle of, in time. If you're going into fifth and sixth grade, you're gonna read this one this summer. So two birds with one stone. If you liked The Wheel on the School, this is another one by the same author, Along Came a Dog by Minder Dijon by The Great Horn Spoon, The Great Wheel, Across Five Aprils, which many students in the seventh and eighth grade read. It takes place during the Civil War. One of my favorites, Number of the Stars by Lois Lowry, which takes place during uh, the Second World War as well. Ginger Pie, and so many, many more, which we'll get to later this summer.